Go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to make it clear, uh, it is Dragon Link versus Trap, Trap Tricks. Trick. So the game is playing uh, the Bestial cards, which is something that you haven't really seen in a while mm. with the drop off of T Elements. Bestials exactly. haven't really been as mm -hmm. impactful as they previously were. Because, like, Magnum generating so much advantage while inter interrupting your opponent was, was crazy yes, good. Yeah, exactly. But now that the decks that you play either just don't have a graveyard or they, or they don't, don't have, have a any dark light or like dark. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, he's just using him as a means to just extend his engine as opposed to just being disruptions. But yeah. they can act as disruptions against decks like Branded, so it's, it's a bonus mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, exactly. I personally, I really, I find this Trap Tricks deck a really weird dynamic on the traditional control deck. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Because yeah. you'd think Trap Tricks, mm -hmm. Trap, Trap Hole, mm -hmm. Trap Card Set, mm -hmm. but they don't. No, they have like, they it's have a, a lot of like cool monster interrupts. Well, I, I, I played like a fair few of them at locals, mm -hmm. as you would, because it's, it's more or less free structure decks. Yeah. Uh, which is like, really good uh, for a competitive deck to Especially just to so introduce cheap. someone to the game. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they do things like they can end on uh, Rafflesia and Serra mm -hmm. and, and things like that would, the, that would beat the traditional trap deck that would mm -hmm. remove the, the, the back row, like Lightning Storm and things like that. Aren't the end of the world because they have things like Reflegio or Time Thief Redoer that can still interact with your opponent yeah. and they're really good disruptions as well. Uh, Reflegio being able to send a uh, floodgate trap hole that interrupts like the, the Kishtira player. Yeah, that's really, that can really just strong. just make them just yeah. pass turn as well. Especially with the new um, Trap Tricks monster from the structure deck, which it almost just protects all of your spell and traps from the hands. Yeah, that, uh, that, that, that bonus as yeah, well. Having an uh, in-engine way just to protect your back row as well. From like these these crazy cards like Lightning Storm, Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, Twin Twister, that might be ruining a day, let's say. Um, what makes this deck extremely consistent as well, like any Trap Trick card just goes straight into Serra. And if you yep. combo it with another Trap Trick card, for example, the, the Field Spell, which gives you an additional normal mm -hmm. summon, it means you can also end in a rank four as well. This isn't something I do see that often. I haven't really seen somebody go into the to the rank four Trap Trick. So I'll be interested to see what So this one, this I does. believe it adds a Trap Trick's monster from the of hands. So here... He uh, could be using it as a means to protect his back row. Exactly. I think he might be looking to grab uh, Mantis to get the uh, other one that protects your spell traps. Mm -hmm. And just further extending uh, his field so he can get more interrupts that might not be these traditional spell traps. Does it have a... A disruption effect like Reflesion. Uh, I believe so. It's very. I think it's very good into the Kashtira matchup. Like if uh, a monster is owned by your opponent, is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can attach one of those monsters mm -hmm. to this material. It's yeah. a decent disruption. Yeah. Like Gabe's deck is quite orientated around the graveyard. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's kind of similar to um, a Rise Heart in that respect, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and it looks like he's doing it as a means to just further extend, so it's just an extra monster on board mm -hmm. uh, on the field. Field, field. I'm going to keep saying field. <laughs> we, we, we are just I'm going to keep saying field, and every time I say the wrong word, I'm going to get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he's going to make his Rafflesia here. So you, um, do you think, would you prefer Rafflesia rather than Redo in I, blind? I personally, I think I would have made Rafflesia first. Sure. Uh, you, you just don't risk losing to cards like Nibiru at that point. Mm -hmm. um, which, because you're playing this more controller into this deck, it's a little bit different. You shouldn't. Yeah. Because Reflesia can, into those cards. Reflesia um, can uh, negate Nibiru with uh, Grave Diggers. Yes, exactly. Uh, by uh, sending that from deck to grave, which is pretty good. Yeah. So it means that the deck not only does something small but high impact, exactly. it also respects the high impact mm -hmm. uh, defensive cards as well. Yep. Gabe is playing Nibiru, so that is something that would yep. have punished him if he did draw it. But he has been a 60 card deck, so. I guess yeah. he might have thought, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing how. Uh, Gabriel's turn starts because well, looking at his, cards, you can looking have a combination his, of anything. Yeah, looking at his deck list here, there is a, a wide variety of just very, very strong spell cards in his deck. I, mm. Looking down the list, there's only a couple that I would say are more meant to end the deck, let's say. Well, um, he, he didn't draw any defensive cards because he didn't no, inter interact didn't. with his opponent, yep. so you're assuming that his hand's just all gas. Very strong start here with Small World. Well, that's which anything in his deck? It could get literally anything. Mm. Um, so let's see where the bridge takes him. So he's how Starts many copies of Rise does he heart. play? Because I know that's he quite does, important to his combo. He plays one. Okay, so I guess so it's not that important to his combo. It's not important game. enough, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I see. That's beautiful. That is, <laughs> what, makes, what makes Small World an exceptionally interesting card is not only as an engine, it can do things like this, where yeah. you get your means of just 
getting rid of your opponent's uh, yeah. cards on the field. And yeah, you can see uh, Stephen there at the top. He's just like, what is this love going to do? Go and going to do to me here. Well, and you you would probably get rid of the. Well, he's given it a quick read over. Yeah. Um, I don't the think Rafflesia it does anything particularly scary. Going. You would get rid of Sarah uh, and Rafflesia because yeah. Sarah is a means of extending your plays and yes. also adding disruption. They can summon that m m monster from deck, which banishes a card in the field, which would be particularly problematic. Yes. So it makes um, sense just to get rid of all the known disruptions. It's also good here because um, the trap is still underneath. Um, that trap tricks monster, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the one that in the graveyard it would uh, remove itself from play mm -hmm. to special summon a trap tricks monster back. Um, Fenrir here. So as quoted, Kishira Fenrir is full combo, but without Rise Heart. It's, yeah. I'm not sure. So that is really really rough. I think he knew that was there because I think he yes, searched he it did, off yeah. Melio. So, so he would have used it as a means to bait it because that's obvious bait. Where if you special Fenrir, like the first thing you want to do is to get trap all that. And then the thing that you can see Stephen's eyes. Uh, his his he's confusion just, he's just, yeah, over the like, sector. What is going on? I don't um, think I personally would have expected that. If that no, definitely point. not. But when your opponent special summons Fenrir, it, it could be anything because Fenrir is a fairly splashable card. Yes, exactly. So, Especially following a small world as well. Um, you can say it's a bit bit wild. Yeah, um, kitchen sink sort of thing. Like, yeah. It could have been anything. Could have been uh, absolutely but anything. I think it was still right to just like shotgun flood get trampled. Mm -hmm. like, I think so, Fenrir yeah. Because um, Fenrir is like, he has like so much value. a lot of pressure on yeah. the board as well. Um, uh, yeah, especially as Gabe is committing more to the field now. Uh, trying, field? To get to, trying to get nice. to that boot sector launch. Um, Ooh, but he's got more of the whole cards, and the whole cards, yeah. I believe, are some of the best normal traps in the game. I agree, I agree. Yeah. If I was ever going to play uh, more casual formats, let's say, I would, uh, you just want to see even Trap Hole. I'll take Trap Hole, why not? Um, and this uh, new Trap Trick Xyz is doing something here, which can be yeah. really frustrating. The field spell as well is quite good. It means that like it protects your, your monsters from being mm -hmm. destroyed by yes, battle. Yep. So let's see what's the next card. Ooh, so he's, that's interesting. So ra rather than a strike a dragon being taken by the Xyz, he's using it to extend mm. to his Magnema. So the Magnema is going to offer him a way of... I'm not sure, yeah. What's, uh, what's the last card in his hand? It has to be something to exceptional, right? It has to be an extra extender. Yeah. It does look like that the traps have been they have, too have much fair in the handle yeah. here. He's, and Steven has one additional disruptor as well. Yeah, uh, by the means of... Gabe's body language, he doesn't look too impressed he with he's his like, ah. And he's read the field spell just to acknowledge that the Magnum can't quite attack over it. Yeah, so he's, got, he's went straight to the end phase, and you assume he's probably going to get a Druid Swarm here. Yeah. Uh, uh, or you can search any dragon, sorry, not a yeah, beast yeah. so you'll So he can get another form of extension. I don't know what the best dragon is for him to, to get here. Take uh, to help him push without him Strike a Dragon as well. Quite the front. Yeah, especially without Strike a Dragon now, it feels like you just lose that extra little bit of uh, mm. extension. Strike a um, Dragon is at one in the Forbidden Limited list as well. Yeah, I'd read that because he summons Recharger there, his card in hand is probably Tracer. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to get the Lubellion for next turn. Lubellion does do quite a lot. It, it does. Three effects. Yeah, <laughs> it does in fact yeah. do a lot. Um, the only issue I see is that this trap trick deck might just be able to. It's got a lot of gas. Commit a lot of uh, resources to the field. The trap. He might just be able to win. The trap time. isn't in the graveyard anymore. No. Uh, but he could but probably. But when he detaches it. Yeah. So <laughs> he can use it like. Um, so summoning that meant that he j can just search a, a trap trick card. So it's follow ups there. Mm -hmm. He has several different ways of playing this out. Like Mamelio could get him, like, if he thinks the turn's going to go on for a bit longer. He can use Mamelio to get uh, another resource, another defensive card. Yep. He can go into Dionyers, if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. So summon a, a monster from the graveyard as well. And so he can just he can just do a lot here. Which yeah. can and I don't think since Gabe didn't get a disruptor uh, with with the Magnum, I think he's just accepting his fate more or less. I think he's yeah, just, just trying to see. Yeah, he's just Gabe has accepted his fate here. Lot. And the winner of the it's previous UK option during his opponent's turn, there's Ash Blossom Joy Spring, Nibiru and infinite impermanence, and that's all even post side. So, but you think that's th this deck there. is quite quite good and resilient in mm -hmm. those sort of defensive cards, and yes. they're not really particularly powerful ones either. Yeah. Like they're not cards like Nibiru, where like if you see that you just cry. Yeah. Like, um, whereas like Ash Blossom, like an Ash yeah. Blossom at this point would just feel extremely underwhelming. Agreed. And and you would have like several different sort of means of pushing after this. Yeah. Um, so Fenrir in this deck. 
as I've discussed with Gabe. Full. Full combo. Full combo. And uh, if this does resolve, I guarantee it's going to be the funniest combo yeah. we see throughout this entire event. This, this field uh, is going to be very cool to see. It is. It's, uh, I remember I, I didn't get to see the combo because at this point I thought you couldn't do the combo. <laughs> I thought I locked you in the XYZs. XYZs yeah. That was me being silly. You don't yeah. actually have to special the Rise Heart. You can normal it yeah. and it's effect the Banish from deck doesn't lock you in the XYZ exactly, monsters. Yeah. So you are free to do whatever on earth you want. So. Let's so. not let's not spoil the rest of the combo though. Yeah. Let so the viewers just watch this. You see it is Gabe extremely is having cool. a little think there. He's trying to decide. Uh, he wants to respect everything. Which, yeah, which is uh, reasonable. There is an Ash Blossom in Steven's yeah. hand as well. There also looks like there's two parallel exceed. Ooh. So he's looks like he is respecting oh. the combo here or the hand traps. Um, okay, so I haven't seen this iteration of the combo. I've barely seen I. the first one. <laughs> so uh, maybe he is just. Um, I, I don't know the deck well enough to think if he's getting in his own head. Uh, I think uh, Gabe is a, a good enough player yeah. to, to respect things like that. And that, that was probably part of the plan. Uh, he probably has a beast duel to help him extend. He does. He's using Sarnia to banish a uh, recharger to summon. So he can then probably just go straight into Romulus without having yeah. to do the added flood. It depends what he wants to do here. Does he want to go for Romulus or does he want to go for the ever powerful Harassic Seal Pass? <laughs> so. <laughs> he does ah, he's going, going for Romulus. No. He's probably. He's, he will be scared in the bureau, I think. Yes. But I think Ash Blossom on the Romulus probably would have put, put him in a really awkward yes, position. Agreed, like, he must have valued Dragon Ravine really highly. Yeah. Especially, and, but he mustn't have needed the Zephyros, which would have been summoned from the Arsenal Falcon. Yeah. So here he's going to dump the Lubellion Ravine. Yeah. He, Let's just see where he goes from he's here. Got a lot or, he's got a lot already yeah. with the Sarnia, because that, that added, adds your extra sort of like branded side of things mm. with like Lebellion. He is mm. playing branded beasts and what have you, so which is an extra disruption. And the Lebellion stuff is just sort of, that was just a free card that was just like that... sent from the Sarnia as well. Yeah. So just having a look uh, to see what, what he wants to do next. I imagine this is a fairly open-ended deck. Like it's, it, yeah, it's, yeah. It, your end board field, field yeah. is probably the same. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, but like <laughs> in, in, in between that, there's a lot of different sort of lines that you can do. Lots of decision making. And I think that's kind of what I like about this type of deck. She's going to straight up as discard fodder. Get yeah. that fluff out the deck. Yeah, you just, I guess you just don't want to draw it next turn. No. Um, yeah, especially if you've got like cards on the field. It's just not going to anything. Yeah. It's just stuck in your hand, so you might yeah. as well just get out of there. Um, I guess he is going to be using that Fenrir maybe as a disrupt now. Um, yeah, you could just leave it there. It is probably one of the... What makes Kishtira so good yeah. is if they get stopped in their tracks with like Imperm or Ash, like Fenrir is probably one of the best defensive yeah. cards in the game right it now. It does so much right now. You see people playing cards like Book of Moon just to yeah. try and beat <laughs> yeah. Rise Heart, let alone even cards like Fenrir just yeah. to try and play going second. Sometimes um, you can just you can just go wide and just like keep a bunch of mm -hmm. Kishtira main deck monsters on the field mm -hmm. and that just does an awful lot if you want to just respect certain things. Like, it's something that I've done plenty yeah. of times. Like if the fifth summon was gonna be overlaying it with Rise Heart, sometimes I'll just leave you in the corner Fenrir up there and just let that just Yeah, do I'm it. trying to decide where Gabe is going here. Because there's so many things going on. He has a, like, a, a tremendous... He's yeah. opened all his bestials yeah. in his hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, is he going to go... Yeah, he looks like he's going to go for the Atom He's going yeah. Uh, again, is, I really love this card as well. This Atom um, is a cool card. I remember when uh, cards like Dragoon C Remus were uh, announced. I was like, oh, yes, Atom time. Let's go. I remember this um, card being played in the Rikes. So. Yes, that's, that's what it's I started playing cool. as well. Um, I'm, quite, I'm quite looking forward to seeing this. Um, so what can he, what can he get here? I do so many cards. I do enjoy seeing like cool combos like yeah, this, yeah. especially when like they're in like an undefined format and it's your attempt to like, yeah. Cause sometimes you need the confirmation of like another good player mm -hmm. like, to show that something's good, but he yeah. has the confidence just to go, whatever, I'm confident in my own ability. I can do it. I'm going to, I'm going to play a big event. Like I'll be the master. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I will be the king. <laughs> So, but it is looking all right. I don't think Steven has any no. forms of disruption. So in my head, at least here, he's got Fenrir and he's got Seal. That's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> Seal is um, also probably one of the best disru disruption cards we've ever had. Yeah. Um, and it's just follow up as well. Like, can sometimes summon things like Kakimiri Draco from the deck if mm -hmm. he is doing that? Is yeah. he? Uh, I no, don't he think is he not, is, though. but it is an option that you can do to um, 
make sure your opponent can't play the game. What would be his game plan with Seal? Like, what would he summon? Uh, uh, I think you would either traditionally go for maybe a, a Bestial. Um, yeah. Just because... He doesn't play Dragon Maid or anything. Yeah, like you either. can get those generic like follow-up cards, right? You can get even Magnum up for another search. You can get uh, your Jura's Worm for an Interrupt. Mm. Your... Oh, I can never remember the name of one. Uh, Bold Drake, mm. that's another interrupt as well. Yeah. So he's used to all those. Like, he's already used them all. He's like, you know, <laughs> so. you know I don't know what this Magnum's even going to search at this point. Yeah. He probably has a Jura Swim in there tucked away somewhere. So you'll yeah. end up a Jura Swim destruction as well. Let's see what's next. I think. The Jura Swim isn't going to really interact yeah. with the Trap Trick engine at no. all, but it's, I guess it's just another But it, I, I think it's right. I think Seal does enough as the Trap Tricks. Yeah. On its own as well. Also normal summon. Yeah, like, if they don't have the field spell, then. Or you uh, can even like let them normal summon if they activate the effect. Mm. If any of your at face down. Yes, exactly. exactly. Uh, I don't know if the field spell is once per turn. I don't recall. I'm not sure. But if it is, then that's something Seal can yeah. balance as well. Uh, I think it's similar to uh, Evil Swan Caster. Right. So as long as it's just there, you just gain the additional summon. I see. Yeah. Um, so it might be a bit different to that, but I don't mm. know. So you probably can't go down that line. Yeah. Or, I mean, to be fair, they just summon another one and you just. Bounce it right, so it's not. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. Well, you're right. Yeah, they just, yeah. just let them normal summon and bounce it. Then you're absolutely. Yeah. Like, um, think so <laughs> here we go. My favorite bit. Seal. He got there in the end. Um, like back in previous formats, uh, when Dragon Link was popular, a lot of the time it was just going right Seal pass, mm. and that was just really unreasonable. Like it was just yeah, like, so, so powerful. Um, a very good friend of mine, uh, Nicholas Burgess. He won UK Nationals uh, last year, mm -hmm. and I played um, Dragon Link for mm. maybe a year prior to that. Mm. And every single time he, he just goes on about it, he's like, I think when you commit all of your resources to the board, I'm not that scared. But when you've got seals tidying six cards in hand, yeah. that's when it's the most scary. That's it. Because that's you have to win that turn, yeah. otherwise the amount of resources you've accumulated it's just over, isn't it? It, it puts like, you on, like, you have to win in this turn. Yes, exactly. Because yeah. otherwise the follow-up is going to suck. And that's what I've always liked about Dragon Link of Old. Um, it always felt like you just it, it got all these lot, cool it, cards. It can like, do a lot with nothing. Mm -hmm. They're all dragons, and it only requires a dragon to get your yep. stuff started. Beast is a disruptor by mm -hmm. attributing a dragon to the pop a card in the mm -hmm. field. Yes, yeah. It's, uh, again, really good into these more control-based matchups because mm -hmm. you just try any card on the field. That includes trap cards. Oh, so, <laughs> so yeah, so he has went for something fairly basic. But yeah. he, I guess he just recognises yeah. that he doesn't have to commit a lot of resources. Yeah, exactly. The trap trick engine is fairly... I mean, it's also unfortunate here because you do see Stephen or Stefan has got two copies of Paradox Seed in the hand. Can you trigger um, them both? Uh, no, you can only trigger one. Sure. And even worse, yeah, if he's only playing two... No, he's playing three, luckily. Mm. Um, he wouldn't have a second target. But. Like, he activated the card on the field. I, so I, I don't think this was correct. I, I think... He definitely had the normal that. Yeah. And just I mean, this copy um, of Pudica, it does get the field spell. So at least gives you that extension. I um, suppose. Uh, but I, I do think, yeah, the Fenrir removing it from play here is just an issue on its own. Yeah, like, he, he, um, considering his hand and his Spanish face down for the beauty. There, we go. <laughs> there you uh, go. Considering, like, uh, the game state. Oh, he does. Oh, he does have triple tactics. tactic talents. Oh, that's quite That is quite strong. Uh, so it means that it, it, he if he goes take. If he takes, he forces the seal. Ah, oh, there he goes for a draw to. Oh, he's going for a draw to. Mm. I think you have. I think looking at Stephen's hand there, I didn't see um, another trap tricks monster. Yes, fair so enough. So that's the yeah. only issue. That's here. a shame. If it was coupled with like another trap trick monster, this yes, would have been really yeah. good. But you sort of you're just in the same situation as you were previously, mm. but you've got more cards in your hand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <yeah. laughs> Uh, um, he needed something unfair, like evenly matched or something yes, like that, yeah. I think. Um, Which, if he did draw it there, that would have been really, really powerful. Uh, and I think that's the biggest problem Triple Tax triple Talents has. Like, it, it's, it's an exceptionally good card in its own right, mm -hmm. but it, it does need to be paired with other stuff that make it really yeah. good. Like, you need like a lot of gas. Yes, agreed. Uh, you also, your first disruption also needs to not matter. So is that, is that where, you, them. where would you say talents is within the format right now? It's a very varied card, mm -hmm. I think. Especially with the format being so diverse, it's very unpredictable how good I it can be. I think it depends on the, the nature of the strategy you're playing. So mm. for example, Gabe's deck, I think talents is a very, very good, strong card there. Mm. Because it has all of these open-ended possibilities that you can do throughout the turn, be it remove um, interrupts from their hand. Yeah. Interrupts from their field, mm -hmm. or try to draw two more additional extenders. Oh, he's, he's allowed um, him to get the Sarah. 
Which is interesting. Yeah, I think he's going to be waiting for anything here, and then that's what he's, yeah. He's going to be using ah, the skill Because Paralexi needs mm -hmm. to summon yeah. to a zone a link monster yes, points exactly. to, with the monster no yeah. longer being uh, on the field. So I think this is correct, yeah, you wait yeah, for I, the... I think he is defender. confirming that it doesn't yeah. summon. And yes. That's correct, yeah. So. Uh, I think it's the same thing here if he activates the Trap Extender, um, the Trap Tricks uh, Holutea. Mm -hmm. um, you wait for that to activate, they have to discard a card for cost, and then you remove the Sarah from the field, then just to stop them getting that additional advantage. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Oh, and uh, Magdemot will also trigger Magdemot here as again, well. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if there is another beast here you can actually search, yeah. but that well, is that luckily, is cute. he's such a dragon in his deck. <laughs> You're right, I forgot. So, <laughs> we've, got so many, we've got so many cards I'm just in so his used dragon to, deck. I'm so used to just searching beast uh, Yes, Magdemot. exactly, I, exactly. I, I just thought it was just beast deals. It's okay. Um, this is probably his last means of extending. Tension, yeah. And then after this, I'm not sure where he really goes. Like he goes at the Serra yeah. and then he doesn't even have any traps. Yeah, I think he's going to, to consider to using this uh, branded beast here. Um, yeah, not unreasonable. The, is the card banished? Um, from memory, no, I don't think so. What is uh, the parameters for it to be banished? Uh, it's, it removes well, itself from the grave as, as, a, as a graveyard ah, effect. See, yes, yeah. yeah, you're um, right, yeah, it does have a graveyard effect. Trying to think of something to liken it to, but I cannot. So they have decent recursion trap tricks. Yes, they get yeah, going. yeah. I think it's just um, again like trap again, it has to get going, have, right? Trap trick, like, yeah, trap trick, uh, trap decks just have that issue. Mm -hmm. Like when they go second, like the. I think it's a similar sort of issue with the, the labyrinth strategy as well, right? They have traps that interact with, your, with the with the field though, with like things like goes and match and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Which I think that helps the labyrinth there quite a bit, yeah. which I think might make labyrinth just a little bit better than trap. Yeah. Game. And then monsters are a bit more unfair as well. Yes. Like, like the big lady being free gay, <laughs> massive. <laughs> Ferrier can't deal with that. Oh, I like the um, um oh, but this cool dragon link deck. And I think cards like Song Judgment will really help him with that. Because Song Judgment will Make it so that any unfair card that Gabe has drawn to interrupt his yeah. field. So it looks like he's got Lord of the Heavenly Prison, Infinite Permanence, and some Trap Trick monsters. What more could you ask? So for? he's opened the card that searches a Trap Trick monster. On the bright side for Gabe, he hasn't drawn one of those nine formidable side deck cards. Hmm. Um, You'll draw it for ten. On the downside, do. yeah, on the that, yeah, they will. Yeah. <laughs> But on the downside, do. he does have playable. He like on the upside for Steven even he has playable. He's got an extra couple of interrupts, and even got the law to play yeah. around those uh, removal cards like Harpy's Feather Duster and Gabe side. Um, so we're just gonna see where he goes with this combo now. It does look like he's just gonna go for something fairly standard. Yeah, um, um, with, coupled with a Heavenly Prison, which mm -hmm. would be quite interesting. Um, I don't think the only thing that would be quite irritating against is if Gabe has Harpy's Feather Duster. Yes. Because I think yeah. that Heavenly Prison isn't really putting much work against any other card in Gabe's deck. No. But I think it'll be no. quite irritating. It'll be quite frustrating for Gabe if he does have Harpy's yeah. Feather Duster. Because um, then he just won't do anything. Oh, he has Parallel Exceed. Oh, Ooh, so we're going to okay. see a lot more this turn. Parallel yeah. Exceed just so, gives you that extra rank four on this, on this field as mm -hmm. well. So what do you think this Parallel Exceed should be aiming for here? Do you think he should try and commit with more of those Trap Tricks um, extension plays? Yeah. Or do we think we should just go for, straight for that defensive Rafflesia? In 40 cards, you could probably be a bit more conservative. But nah, he's playing 60, he won't, he won't, he won't have drawn He won't have it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think especially as well, like when you're playing against somebody, if you, if you acknowledge this person's like quite good, yeah. you need to do things a bit more unreasonable to make it so that their engine doesn't beat you. Yes. And yeah. also the 60 card like engine, a lot of the time when they're all gas, it's really difficult yes. to deal with. <laughs> so you have to put yourself on like, yeah, I'm going to just put up, up as many disrupt, disrupting yeah. cards as possible. And if you have Nibiru's, that's fine. It, 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 my field wouldn't have been good enough to beat you. There you me. go, he's got to go for it. He's just um, going to go extend, 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 which is what I like to see. I want, I want them to keep going and going and going. <laughs> I'm quite do curious more. to see if he could do anything with that XYZ and end on something more formidable, let's say, with it. Um, I know you can make... The... This is a means of extending, so yeah. I, I imagine he has the field spell, unless he's just no. searched for Melio. Okay, uh, that's uh, peculiar then. Did he search for Melio after that? Yeah. Then Sarah would trigger, maybe he just wanted it to trigger the Serra, which is fine, because then if he activates that trap, Serra will trigger again to summon from deck, mm -hmm. which will then get him a oh, mellow. Yeah. There you go, there he's gonna do he, it. He does have a trap to discard though, right? Yep, so that Infinite Impermanence, which is a level that, of interrupt. That is a shame yeah. that he had to discard that, because yep. Infinite Impermanence is a pretty solid uh, yeah. interrupt. It would be and really strong if he had a trap tricks, or a trap hole, sorry, yeah, to discard to get that The only way you discard a hole is just free, right? Because yes, you can just reset yeah. the hole. 
Um, Which one would you would you get here? I think you Probably go Mamello, for. Right? Oh, no, no, I, I think no. you go for. Is it Pudica, the one that would add the field spell? Uh, it right. only does only adds the field spell on summon, but it has a graveyard effect. Mm -hmm. So if um, if it summons, oh, it has an odd summon effect. Sorry. Um, if it summons during even plus turn, I believe it can banish your cards. It does, uh, yeah. Um, so that's again, it's just another another interrupt you can generate. Here. Can it summon itself from graveyard? No, the trap card can. So oh, the trap cards, yeah. So, I see the synergy now. Uh, yeah. Very good. He's gone for the Goose Okay. Okay. Plan B. Is um, that is that? I uh, can't imagine that's extremely strong against no. a Dragon Link deck. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. I Maybe. think the I think the Rafflesia was actually more terrifying. Yes. Than the terribly tied. Rafflesia is uh, it's difficult to predict because there's so many hole cards and you gotta yeah. respect them all. And he doesn't have any traps at all, so he's having any yeah. to really do. Anything. Which that means his Sarah isn't really getting too much advantage either. Yeah, I think he the the better play would have been to just make Baguska set the imperm. Yeah, and I think so, that would have been like extremely reading from more valuable. Gabe's body language here as well. He sped up. So traditionally, that means whenever you see a player speed up, that traditionally means that they know what they're doing. Uh huh. They're figuring out the goo. Yes. And like, he's, he's Gabe seeing Steven not set a single yeah trap card mm -hmm. only means one thing: it's time to do a wombo combo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing he really, I guess, has to respect is. Nibiru. Yes. Because he can just ignore this Baguska for the Wait. most part of his link engine. It depends what he reads that this uh, that this Baguska is telegraphing, maybe? Mm -hmm. How do you say that? So the, the Baguska could telegraph maybe that he has more hand traps, more of those types of cards, mm -hmm. or he just doesn't want to commit these, the Rafflesia rate resource. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe he's just, again, he saw the Fenrir's and he just didn't want to play into that, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, Maybe the, the Fenrir he thought was just quite scary. A little bit spooky. Yeah, but um, I think a more conservative play would have just been better. Mm -hmm. Setting the Imperm and making Baguska. Yeah. Not even, doesn't even have to make Baguska, you yeah. could probably make like Rafflesia. And I think that would have been significantly more scary. Especially here, as you're just going to watch uh, Gabe just climb and climb. Does he play like Unicorn maybe? No. Does uh, he even need to get rid of the Baguska? Does he I care? guess not, no. Mm. I'm just thinking, how is he going to put enough attack position monsters to clear out this game? If you like know what I mean. the only card in his extra deck that he would really that that he would care about is a ton. I think everything else is a link monster. Yeah. So I, I and I don't think he needs any of his monster effects in his main deck on the field. Yeah. So I think this Baguska is just gonna do nothing. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. I but mean, he, that he does is, happen though. Like uh, yeah. Steven is probably just unaware of how this deck works and. Especially if you see a Fenrir, like you just assume that okay, but is good against Kishtira, so maybe it's good against this deck. And unfortunately, his read mm -hmm. was just incorrect. But that does happen when you play in a deck so that you're not sure see how it works. Gave make Pisty here, and then I think he'll end up going for the triple burst dragon. Um, I think the line here is make Borland dragon, Borland dragon clears it all. Yeah. And then Barrel and dragon we'll see what else really comes up card, after yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Barrel and dragon will probably just sweep the board. Yeah. Um, and by board, I mean field. field. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think Borland is one of my favorite cards to be incorporate, incorporated into this uh, it's dragon strategy. So good. It's just, it's just everything you kind of want from that finishing card. Like last year um, in UK Nats, it was quite reasonable for, yeah. for a dragon link player just to go Borland pass, and it was quite difficult to, to out. Yes, yeah. 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 Um, Without Rise of Aramis, it, it was very, very hard to out. I, I wasn't sure how Desby and Sword Soul really dealt with that card. Uh, I'd say they didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think they just accepted that. Yeah. yeah, this is um, just a pain. So it's where does he go from here, yet again? Um, so he might be able to make a little bit of a further push because he does have the Black Dragon in hand if he can get to something. He's probably just wanting, he's probably just going to... No, he's not getting rid of the Bogusra. He's attacking over the Serra. And I guess that makes sense. Like it is the most... Well, post this turn, it is the most stressful card. Yep. He might be thinking of time as well. He's probably just attacking the Sarah just for damage. Yeah. It's completely reasonable. It can also have multiple attacks, which is something that just dawned on me right this second. Yeah. And he's also put him in a position where <laughs> it's just like, okay, his follow up, he has to put that Baguska in attack mode. So that means all my stuff's just going to be online. Yeah. And I think he's also just understanding that. How does he out it? Yeah, true. That's. Uh... He's probably thinking there's four minutes on the clock. I've done. A really good amount of damage. I think Borrow ends on 3k at yep. least. So that's at least 2-2 two, two damage that he's just done there through the Sarah. 
and that means a trap trick player now has to deal more than 2-2 damage through a borrow land. And the only way that like trap trick can do a lot of damage at once is with grave diggers, which does yes, 2k, yeah. which still isn't even enough. It's not enough. But yeah. you just don't activate a monster effect in hand, so yeah. you don't trigger that. Oh, oh so he is gonna summon this back, so I'm gonna trace it back here. Um, and then I think will he well let's see if he'll clear it or not. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it gave had talents as well, which is something that he mm. just couldn't activate because he didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His opponent has no interruptions, so he has no need for it. So, so now he can just play at a reasonable pace, just yeah. to run down that clock in a, in a very legal manner, of course. Yeah, I where think he's, he's just playing the game. <laughs> so he's got branded regained in hand, which is quite cool to see as well. Um, Oh, we're discarding the talents. I mean, it's not doing anything. I think that makes sense. <laughs> There's been no interruption as of yet, so... I would, in the back of my mind, I probably would be a little bit scared of Nibiru, but maybe he's just thinking, it's whatever. If he Nibiru's me, like, he still then has to play yes, and deal yeah. a, an amount of damage against me. So if I just play and then get Nibiru, it's like, all right, okay, that's still burnt some time on the clock. Let's see what he's thinking about here. I'm not sure where he can next go, because I know he can make a Savage Dragon. Mm. With the the black dragon clap serpent. With a Bagusker on the field, that's probably not the yeah <laughs> yeah. It's probably not the ideal thing to do. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, true does say. I think, he, I think he's going for it though. I swear to God, <laughs> if, he, if he goes to uh, Boral Savage and then he goes to effect of other Bagusker. Uh, oh, that is actually a thing. It does permanently negate the effects, I believe. Um, Borland. Oh, you get the effect so. of Bagusker. Yeah. Okay. So then. I, I do think it permanently negates the effect. That's me being an update. Um, so that's fine then. So this is a completely exceptional, yeah. reasonable play. Um, do you know if maintenance costs still activate for monster effects been negated? Well, I think it would, right? Yeah. I, 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 I would not, say I, so as well. No, I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge yeah, either. I would, but I would I would assume that yeah, like because the, the effect it would attempt to activate regardless of yeah. it being negated. Mm. So I think that's the, the thing that might give Steven this uh, little bit of light of the dark, in the dark. Mm. Uh, because he gets to detach that trap in his standby phase, which gives him that little bit of extra extension. Yeah, but uh, with barely any time to do it, and yes, Gabe setting up yeah. uh, an Omni Negate. Yeah, as uh, well as another monster, oh, he's still got the monster Negate as well through yeah, Borla. And... I just don't think it's happening, and he can just also just keep playing, which... Yeah. And is that Branded Regained as well? Yeah, so if one's banished, I believe it puts to the bottom of the deck, and then you draw a card. Mm. Um, what needs to be banished? A brand? Uh, no, a a monster. I think it's just a monster. <laughs> I might be wrong. That's, um, that's pretty good. I know it so does. Can, it definitely so it does light and dark. Yeah. Oh wow, that's yeah. actually really really good synergy. Yeah. And yeah, and like drawing a free card here can't be that bad. Um, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, his play was intelligent. Yeah, just dealing that damage and then playing afterwards and then putting him on. Yeah, you got a minute. Play for this. Yeah. <laughs> Driver drawn there. <laughs> uh, Lucky me. Well, beautiful. You'll go for some vanilla ice cream after this win, <laughs> unless Stephen can pull it out in the next minute. Yeah, I really, really have no oh, idea. No, no, that's that's the concession there. And Gabe, shaky start game one.